So I'm installing a uh, battery meter in my Yamaha, I guess it's a G19 golf cart. And it's, oops, whoops. It's that bad boy here. Got it on the Ebays. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna try installing that. Comes with some connectors and instruction manual. And I'll show you what I've already done. I used my multimeter to check the voltage of the battery and they're all fully charged, which is a good place to start. And I've popped the cup holders out, very easy to do. And I unscrewed the, I guess, what would you call it, the washer screw that's holding the ignition in place. And I can easily pull that out. So what you want to do is you want to take your multimeter and you want to put the negative lead against the uh, negative connection that leads, <clears throat> excuse me, that comes from the cart, which on this Yamaha, it's on the, the driver's side. That's it there. So you'll put your negative lead there and you'll put your positive lead uh, on the two connections. Uh, there's two there. Now one will read um, zero and one will read uh, 48, I believe. And uh, the one that reads zero is the one you want to connect to the common or C connection here. And that will turn this on when the key is on. And after struggling for half an hour, make sure that your toe switch is not on so that there's circuit <laughs> between the negative terminal and the leads of your switch. I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then as well, the negative will be connected to the negative and the because this is a 48 volt cart, the 48 slash 72 lead will be connected to the positive. Um, of course, this would work 36 if you wanted it for a 36 volt, or if you had a 12 or 24 volt application, you can hook it up to that one. So now what I've done is uh, to accommodate the voltage meter, I cut a hole where I want to put it. Where you install this, uh, it actually goes farther back. So if you were to put it right in front of a cup holder without thinking about it, you wouldn't be able to put this back on. But mine was close enough to in between the two that it works. This stuff is pretty pliable, especially in the summer. And easy enough to do with just uh, an X-Acto knife. Now I'll have a place to install the unit right here. That's how it'll look when it's in. Of course, this won't be here. It'll be through the hole it's supposed to be. And uh, I can easily work with the wires in there after I, uh, or before, even if I like to, uh, install it. So all you need to put the hole in there is a sharp X-Acto knife, and you uh, should be having no issues. I was considering putting it over here, actually. Now I'm maybe regretting it because all the other controls are on this side. But I don't think it'll look too bad either way. Tied into the um, the lead that is not connected, or that is not showing uh, a connection between the main negative at the battery and um, the point here, which happened to be the one closest to the uh, closest to the middle here. It has a white stripe actually. So, oops, there we go. So uh, I tied into there, but what I've done here, uh, and this is a good tip. I've actually done two. I tied into it twice. And the reason I did this is if in the future, perhaps I want to uh, install something else that will activate with the with the key turn, uh, I'm already tied into it and I can just stick a wire in there, crimp it, and be done with it. So this one's going to, I duct tape it around so it'll stay and I won't lose the end or the connector for it. But I'm going to tuck it inside and then in the future, if I ever put lights on this thing or anything else, I'll be able to tap right into it super easy. And now I'm going to, um, uh, from this end, I'm going to connect it to, excuse me, as I mentioned before, the common. And then uh, from there, I'm going to hook the negative to the far driver's side negative battery. And then uh, the 48 volt to the main uh, positive on the far 
side of the series, and I should, when it's on, get a accurate uh, measurement of the battery charge. All right, so I have the uh, positive connect to the same uh, terminal on the battery as the main positive from the uh, golf cart to motor, and then the same with the negative. This is the main terminal here, and I just duct taped it there so it wouldn't flop around, and it's connected to the lead negative terminal. So uh, with those connected, uh, they are, excuse me, they're these two here. I should use a different color. I only had two color wires. Uh, so I would use a green wire to connect <laughs> to the ignition just to differentiate it from the positive, the red here, and the negative here. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, attach them again, uh, positive to the 48, negative to the negative, and the uh, ignition to the common and uh, put this inside and uh, we'll be wrapping this up and that's how she looks there and if we turn the power on you can see yeah full power that's great so this will be great when you're bumming around out on the course or around the the lake or the lot or the farm or what have you and uh, you're trying to wonder do i have enough to keep going or should i go home and charge up the battery it's also really good for when you're charging the battery you'll know when you get up uh get up to charge so you don't overcharge it great well i hope this uh is helpful for you guys and um uh happy carton <laughs>